Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, looking at temperatures, a big spread depending on where you live. Now, right now, it's too below in rugby. Temperatures into the single digits and low single digits at that in our eastern counties. You go to the west, and temperatures still holding on into the mid-20s. I know what you might be thinking. No, I did not coordinate my tie with the colors of the map. It's kind of funny, though. I actually had a tie that color that I was deciding on. Uh, anyway, I digress. Cold in the east, mild in the west. Everyone's going to see some colder temperatures coming up. Uh, winds, look at this. Yeah, they're out of the north right now across our eastern counties, but back off towards the west, they're out of the east. You figured it out? Yeah, here, yeah. There's a little bit of a divide going on right now. There are the wind chills. Look at what it feels like in rugby. Almost feels like 20 degrees out the door right now off in rugby. Uh, layer up if you're out there. I uh, really don't want to layer up anywhere, but an extra layer is probably necessary across there, our eastern counties. 23 degrees was our official high today in Bismarck. That actually ties the uh, average high for this time of year. Now, our low was uh, much warmer than our average low, which is now down to 2 degrees. Record high, 56. That's set back in 1914. Satellite radar, uh, not a lot going on for most of us. However, there is a little bit of light snow that could be falling there across our uh, southwestern counties, maybe Adams County, Bowman County, uh, out towards Hedden. Radar, there's a bit of that radar hole there, which we often refer to. So that's why you might not be seeing the snow falling, but it certainly could be across some of our communities there. And you can really tell as we look off towards the west, uh, the snow kind of traces it out all the way from the Canadian Rockies back down through southwestern Saskatchewan into northeast Montana and then southwest North Dakota. Looking at the temperatures right now uh, across a wider area, you can really tell the difference here. Up towards uh, where Riding Mountain National Park is, you have temperatures well below zero, but back off towards the Montana Rockies, temperatures are well into the 40s. So yes, a big divide. The uh, the center of the cold air, that cold air dome, is located right across the Riding Mountain National Park area. There it is in the form of high pressure, and there is our front. That's what's causing the snow. So what's going to happen is that cold air is going to slide off towards the east. Overnight tonight, that warm front will begin to lift to the north. So by early tomorrow morning, we could see some snow forming along that warm front across our northern counties. Maybe some moderate snow across the Turtle Mountain area by tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. And it does look like we see a little bit of a signal for maybe a little bit of light snow across our central North Dakota counties. That's so, got to follow this. I don't think anyone's going to see significant accumulation except maybe right along the Canadian border. But you will notice here as we head on in towards early Thursday morning, that's when we see a cold front start to drop in. And that has some seriously cold Arctic air behind it. And that will be the first sign of a big pattern change coming up in terms of those temperatures. Get ready for that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, finish that up now and uh, well there you go the cold front blast through on Thursday in terms of those wind chills they're cold out there right now but they're going to get even colder by early tomorrow morning we could be looking at temperatures of uh, feeling like 30 degrees out the door we will see some modification by tomorrow evening but it will be on the cooler side in terms of snow best chance for accumulation of significant kind will be off towards the Turtle Mountains maybe my not picking up a couple inches trace amounts elsewhere Dickens said three-day forecast temperatures We'll be cooling off, especially by Friday. You can see what that cold front does. Light, uh, slight chance for snow with windy conditions tomorrow along that lifting warm front. Williston temperatures uh, dropping down into the end of the week. I have only five degrees by Friday. Lows tonight. Temperatures getting down into the single digits below zero and teens below zero to the northeast. Teens across our west and tomorrow's highs. Temperatures another day with uh, single digits uh, to the east and 30s to the west. Uh, miss a seven day there. I'll show it again at. Uh, the end of the forecast. No, Talk too much no about need. my tie. No, yeah, no, no, there's some cold weather on it. Hey, thanks. thanks Coming up next to sports, some early.